I may have made the mistake of singing along last time, uh, and then the... I don't even know, I think it's just the music audio uh, was woefully delayed, so it sounded dreadful. I was singing a part of the song I hadn't been playing yet on the stream, so... Alas, it was not meant to be at that moment. Uh, but that is okay, because... I think we're all good. I think it's, it's all, all good, so... Hello everyone, welcome to yet another stream of the stream. This is Monday, the 5th of April 2021, the first stream of April that I've done, and it is Easter Monday today, uh, which is a wonderful celebration of the, uh, is it the first Sunday after the first full moon after the equinox, whenever that is, whenever that is, then it's the Sunday after, so that's all good. Uh... Easter Sunday is the, well, that's when the, the weekend falls on. Easter Sunday is the wonderful day that everyone uh, eats a lot of chocolate. And I'm currently on a chocolate hangover right now. So what better thing to do than to play the trippiest and the worst game possible. Not necessarily a bad game, although I've got some thoughts about it. But definitely a game where I'm just like, man, you know, like if I was a little bit more straight line at the moment, uh, oh boy, so how about let's get right into the game. There we go. Uh, so no surprise because it's on the stream name and you're bound to see this if you're on the bot. Uh, I am playing a game that I have owned for, and let me tell RetroArch to not prompt me with on-screen things because it definitely is going to do that on this game. Here we go. So the game of the now, this is uh, Rugrats Search for Reptile. Uh, I guess I should start this off by briefly mentioning that I've never been a Rugrats person, and this is a bit of a weird one. This game I've had since way back when. This was a PS1 game that I legitimately owned. I don't know why I never played it for the channel, because I think I had played almost the entirety of my, the rest of my PS1 library, but this one, I don't know. I didn't feel as strongly about it. This is an oddly broken aspect ratio of a of a Nickelodeon logo. Uh, but published by THQ and developed by, uh, if I said none other, then you would have been able to know who Endspace were, but they made, uh, nothing that I've really got noteworthy. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is a very bizarre game that recreates the intro in, in video, but not audio form. Um, and in fact, surprisingly, this game only has uh, very few full motion videos. In fact, I think it is just the demos of the game of just full motion videos. But uh, this seems to attempt to recreate the, the opening of the, the TV show using the in-game models. It makes me realize how terrible these parents are to just see Chucky just go flying into the trash can. So, I yeah, I don't, I've never... I've never been, and I love how the, the milk is not quite in, on the full screen, but sure. I've never quite been a Rugrats fan. I've never really watched that much Rugrats since I was more aware of what I was watching. Um, I know who the characters are at least, but <laughs> this is... This is a, a fever dream of a title screen, but like, yeah, I, I feel like the Rugrats is getting to a point where like, for me, where like, I just don't understand. Maybe I gotta just sit down and watch the show again. But like, I look at this and I just see these like, bright, like, angular, you know, logo, these shifting colors, these babies popping up, and we're gonna keep going through the game and I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna wait for the full motion video demo, because why load a level when you can just show a video of it? I believe these are the only full motion video parts of the game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, does it really sell the game? 
not really. It looks quite odd, to be honest. Um, and in fact, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, I think the thing that gets me the most with Rugrats is, uh, I know that the episodes always started with, like, some insane, like, close-angle shot that would then zoom out into something a little bit more, like, oh, okay, that's what I was looking at, but I think the, the gimmick is that, or well, not the gimmick, but, like, one of the purposes of the show, uh, <laughs> wow, yeah, exactly, one of the things with the show is that it, um, uh, it's got this kind of distorted worldview because it tries to present things in the, the eyes of the babies, um, and so in doing so, uh, characters are perceived to be doing much more bizarre things, but I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, this game is 100%- Oh, I should've- I should've played the training first. Yeah, I should've played the training first. Nice. Okay, gives me like another minute to- to talk about the game, which is quicker. Skipping through intro videos and like having to sift through a bunch of loading screens, or just restarting the game. I think restarting because I think I can skip a few logos. Um, so yeah, I, now that being said, I never played, sorry, I never really watched Rugrats, I never really followed it too much. I do know of a handful of episodes, uh, everyone knows the memes of buying a gross of eggs and, uh, losing control of, uh, life, uh, by making chocolate pudding in <laughs> four in the morning, is that it? Um, but it's... It's a bit bizarre. Is this two loading screens, by the way, to get into the game? Like, not only do you have to go through the logos, but you also have to sit through something loading there, only to then load the title screen. That's remarkable. This is a really remarkable game. Uh, so, uh, this game, the main thing that I, I, I had played through this game just before this stream, so I'll just remind myself of it all. Um, Hopefully I can demonstrate the entire game, but, uh, like classic, not as well made licensed games, it's just a text block, so make your way to the training level to learn the helpful skills that are needed to complete the search for Reptar. Uh. Uh. Ooh. What happened there? I, I showed up the Retroarch menu for a brief moment, but I was like... What happened there? The game was just like, nah, 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 back to the main menu with you. Maybe I took too long. Press and hold square button to walk, so... Messy. Press forward to climb certain objects. Uh, you're gonna notice a handful of things about this game right away. One, uh, reading. Look at all the toys! Reading. Reading, just Look like, at all, all this stuff. stuff. So let me, let me explain the, uh, the main bits of the, the game. Uh, you have a, uh, baby bottle full of urine, maybe? Uh, that represents your health. Uh, you can jump with X, but it's a little awkward. You can also pick up objects with circle. You can throw those objects with triangle or put them back down with circle. Uh, square sometimes does things, but circle seems to interact more of the time. I'm not 100% sure when square should be the Look one to interact. Uh, you can see I'm picking up these reptile tokens. Um, Look at all this stuff. There's I'm grumpy, a bajillion reptile tokens. 112 better. according to a Retro Achievements achievement. Look but at all there the may toys. possibly be more. I'm not too sure, but... Uh, yeah, the, this training level just feels like a debug room, if anything. It's got these like little pads. That make noises. And you step on them. Um, look at all the toys! Tommy's just gonna keep saying look at all the toys. There's a bajillion toys. Um, I'm going out of my way toys. to like pick up these reptile things, but I don't even know if... I doubt I'm gonna pick up all of them because uh, you need a little look bit of patience toys. in order to get some of the ones. Um, but, uh, honestly, like... Stuff. Mm, I don't even know what the, the speedrunning categories for this game are, but I can 100% guarantee that 100% is uh, something a little more arbitrary. Uh, you've got Look this one little toys. bit where you uh, throw a pie at. You can't beat me! There you go. Oh. I was foul! Don't keep this me waiting! This is so Look awkward because stuff. the one other part there of the I game where you there. throw pies, you get a crosshair, so I don't even know what's going on here, but... Uh, definitely pie at Angelica, so... This is going so fast, I can't even Look explain at all this what's happening. Stuff. So, um... 
It's a little bizarre as well that you can collect these things before you actually hit the main game. Like, you have to do this training part. You don't have to do it, but like, you have Look to be aware of the stuff. training part. And then it just kind of threw a lot of information at you. A lot of it you can kind of guess for yourself. Um, and we'll see the mechanics as we go through the game. So that'll be fine. But for now, what is the premise of the game? Well, we've got a wonderful cutscene to show us why. Where's my reptile puzzle? I don't know if any like pro blocks where they said zero one two. I've seen like one two three four five six, but like zero one two. Oh, here it is. But where's all the pieces inside? What's wrong? Either a lot of the puzzle pieces are missing, or it's the easiest puzzle ever. The pieces must be all over the house. It's okay, kids. Here, have a ball. <laughs> have a ball. Yeet! We'll find all you, Reptar, even if we got to search the whole wide world. And that's the gimmick of the game. So you've got... Uh, Okay, so, gimmick of the game, not the gimmick, the structure of the game is that you got to collect 12 of these puzzle pieces. Uh, you can uh, put the puzzle pieces into place by going over Where's to the my reptile, reptile thingy and putting in the puzzle pieces, but you got to have 12 by the end, so there is that. Um, interestingly, you can interact with quite a fair bit in here. I'm surprised as well. Uh, you've got these various levels around as well that you can go into, and some of the levels will only give you the little, uh, what is this, the, the right one, the tokens. Uh, if you collect 15 tokens, you get a piece for free. But, there's also just 10 regular levels in the game that, uh, will give you a token each. So, really, the game's just gonna beat itself eventually. Let's start off with one of the quicker levels. Egg Hunt, it's just right here. Nice and easy. Every level always starts off with something as well to contextualize what it is, but most of them are based off an episode of the show. So at least it's that. Easter egg. Hm. This They're is very mine, fitting given right now. First. Huh. Uh, so, yeah, so this level is just you run around and you pick up eggs. And you hear this very surprising lo-fi chicken sound. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, the eggs are sprites here. This is probably uh, one of the more tame levels. Um, uh, it showcases one thing that I at least like about this game, and that's, yeah, you get the nice, you get the house. You get to walk around the house. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you get to see one thing I don't like about the game, and that is uh, this little tiny little hiding hole next to the next to the the couch. Yeah, there's a lot of times when they'll just hide something behind, like very kind of not too narrow, but kind of narrow object. Um, but you do get plenty of time. Tommy just absolutely like, chokes every time he touches the wall. Um, I picked up a golden egg, by the way. I don't know what it does. Maybe it gives you more tokens at the end. Maybe there's that. Uh, you're gonna see the camera flip out. There's no camera controls. The best you have is this uh, one button which pans the camera right briefly and then comes back. Or one that turns it left. Or one that makes it go up. Or one that just snaps the camera behind you. Except sometimes it's in front of you. Which is just not helpful. Uh, and sometimes the analog stick goes in a completely different direction to where you're moving it. Uh, so I'm going to complain about this game a bit. Because I don't think it's that great. It's okay. It, I at least appreciate it for what it like attempts to do. But oh boy. For example, this level is like, yeah, once you, you know, did you find all the eggs? No. Whoops. You gotta, gotta look around and not hit the button. Oh, there it is. So. Hey, baby, you missed an egg. Your head. <laughs> okay, I have four more bars. Sweet. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so there's, uh, if I'm going to count, I'm going to say there's 19 levels in the game. Uh, they're all going to go by rather quick. Already one in, and I started five minutes ago. Where's my reptile puzzle? Uh, some of these levels are quite tame as well. So we've got this one here. Let's see how this goes. Now I'm gonna be stuck inside with you babies all dead. I'd rather be broccoli and take a bath at the same time. Uh, maybe we can find a nice game to play inside. Like what? Pin the tail on Chucky? How about hide and go peek? All right, but I get to pick who's gonna be it. Chucky! Ah! After you find someone, you gotta tag them and race them to the playpen. But <laughs> take off your glasses. Extra eyes is no fair. <laughs> Why me? Why? <sighs> I. Mm. So, we're probably gonna have another cutscene when the level loads as well, despite it being in the exact same place all the levels Ready take place in. Six and a bazillion. Ready or not, here I come. This is terrifying. Oh, this is actually I wish terrifying. I had my glasses. I want my glasses. <laughs> So, uh, this level, yeah, uh, three people are hiding around the level, uh, you're seeing me pick up these tokens as well, you're gonna see me, like, I, as I said, there's 112 tokens in the game, you're gonna see me pick up a lot of them, not even all of them, but, uh, like, as I said, if I do every level, I try and show you, like, all the game. Oh, somebody help me! Like, you're gonna see me pick up, like, so many tokens on the way. And I think you're probably gonna get 15 just by beating all the levels anyway, like, normally, so... Uh... But yeah, I, I think the other thing that, like... Builds up like some like nauseating feeling is this just guys? like this atonal. It's not really atonal. It's, it's, it's got a, a key, I guess. But like, it, it's oddly like chromatic. Never All the like them. the um the Rugrats music and it's got this like weird like deep Why can't uh, I just like find my glasses? You know, I, I don't I don't know what's with it, but. Just like, what, what is this? This isn't kids music necessarily, this is whatever. So, by the way, since I picked up 15 pieces, the game just prompts me into this. Now, I'm gonna specifically not put the pieces in because the moment I do that, uh, it's gonna chuck me to the end of the game. So, I, the camera is not liking me. Uh, the trick to getting down the stairs quick is to jump down the stairs. Just go, yep, a child can jump down a whole flight of stairs. Um, I do goodbye, that. cruel world. That's it's how, how it is. Uh, it, yeah, job, characters Jackie. are not going to shut up, but I get to the end. That was easy. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a, a children's tune. The dun 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 dun. dun Maybe we should find they changed like the very last bar of that, so it's What was I thinking? Um. <laughs> But yeah, what do I say about this game? Well, first of all, like, climbing these stairs is the most obnoxious thing in the world. Uh, happens a fair bit in the game. Not a ton, but a fair bit. Um, I think this game is like... I wish I had my glasses. I don't know. This, this is a hard game for me to even, like, get behind because, uh, I'll, I'll say right up, one of the levels used to and partially still terrifies me. I'll explain when I get to it. Uh, those who know the game probably know the level, and you're probably going, Why, you're a baby, how are you scared Where by that? Where are you guys? Oh, it's fine. But it's just this, like, sickening fit. They're both in the same room. Never could have find I'm just gonna double check to see Is if there's other tokens feel? in the other rooms, but I don't even think I'm gonna get, like, all of them. We'll see. We'll see how I go. Ah, uh, so... The kind of awkward part if you're aiming to actually get all the tokens in the game is that uh, some levels uh, kick in specifically like after you've cleared so many other levels and they're not replayable, which means that if you do miss any tokens in those, then you're going to unfortunately miss out on tokens. That being said, this game is so short that I'm taking my time and I'm still 
you know, probably gonna be there in an hour and a half. You're so long. <laughs> so, but, no, yeah, I don't think it's just that, but it's just this, like, this bizarre uh, feeling with the Rugrats. I don't really know. I don't get this from, actually, I, I do remember the movie a little bit. Um, I don't remember it being uh, as sickening, I do remember the uh, rather strange uh, Indiana Jones sequence at the beginning of the film, uh, where where they're, they're going for this like mythical uh, like uh, salad, something, a giant boulder comes and then it turns out the mythical salad was just in the fridge and the bowl was the pregnant mother. Uh, it's just this like, I don't know, it's that idea of like something being very different in reality to what it actually is. That, is. that always kind of gets well. me in, like, media. Yeet! So, uh... On your markers, this is a pretty, like, tame match. level, if anything. Go. I'm probably starting with the really, like, safe stuff. So, uh, I would recommend, uh, if you want to continue watching some rather bizarre uh -oh. stuff, this, this game is going to go from 0 to 100 very those. shortly. Um... I think the other kind of weird thing is the, uh, I guess the look of gotcha. Good the characters. Jackie. I don't know, it looks rather bizarre. Angular. Find Angelica now. <laughs> I don't the music's playing good. twice. Here, take your yucky glasses. <laughs> That's you look a little sick, Angelica. Ah. Yeah. Ew. Let's go clean you up. Okay, whoever's doing like Stu's freaking like voice for this game, just like, yeah, I have like three lines. Let's do it. He has more lines. He shows up a fair bit. Um, so I'm not too sure like what the actual episodes are. Um, but I do know that every level is at least based on something. Uh. Also, I believe you can kick your way outside and Bubbles! experience a few things. There is nothing out here apart from tokens. You got a dog. Got this wonderful backyard that just keeps going in all the directions. It's just. Oof. So, uh, now, oddly, some of the levels are marked as easy, medium, or hard. The hard levels are locked off until I think you've been either three, we'll say three, or other levels. Um, maybe it's four, who knows. This fridge is shallow. Nice. Uh, mm, popcorn. Here we go, here we start getting to the more bizarre stuff. What is this doing here in the house? Who leaves dentures on a plate on the, like, in the bathroom? Who knows? But... This is a setup. Hi, Sprout. It's almost time for my potato salad. Mm. Pop, don't. Pop, you're scaring the children. Potato salad sticks to my teeth, so I'm taking them out. If you do, nobody else will be able to eat. Please, Pop, just stick to jello molds. This will be our little secret, eh, Sprout? Oh. Oh. I can't wait to sink my gums into that potato salad. I swear his like glasses like pot is just coming off his face. What the? Ah! My teeth! That tongue slapping dog stole my teeth! I can't play my trumpet without my teeth! We got to get Grandpa's teeth back. Thank you, no, Tommy. The park's so big, we might not find them till we're grown up. Grandpa needs us, Chucky. Come on, we got to find Spike. Push the thing open. 
Uh, so enter the opening in the fence to find ground for seeds or explore the player area. First press triangle near the playground corner of the player. If you have trouble in the maze, look for the help of arrows, but watch out for hungry geese. You have no bread. Which just sounds terrifying. Uh, this is a thing. It's just here. You can ride these. Can I ride all? Okay, I'm just riding that one then. Thank you, Chucks. Uh, what else is in this area? More of these reptile tokens. They're everywhere, I swear. Oh, now here's something. Wait so you me, lose Tommy. health in this game. You, you lose stuff out of your urine bottle um, by hitting walls. Like if I run into like that, I lose health. A cookie increases your health. I don't like this. I guess I can hit the swing as well for the slide. Oh, I should have hit the swing. Oof, this is fun. You're a baby and you can climb up a ladder. That's amazing. Confets? Oh no. Uh, there's a swing. There we go. Yay! Whee! Woohoo! Look, he's gone. He's gone, I guess. Which way now? So, uh, now, yeah, I guess, here we go, into the park. So, this is fortunately not that confusing of a maze. Um, yeah, boy! Because, uh, you're probably just gonna hit, like, dead ends if you Are go the wrong lost? way. Uh, but, uh, Which way now? you're also gonna see the most terrifying thing. J Dobby, goose! Look out! Goose! J J goose comes at you. Uh, now, yeah, uh, my problem with the health system is that it's, uh, painfully easy. As in, you barely I don't lose know, health. Tommy. Uh, it's, I'm just gonna, like, play the game and then we'll Run away. But, like, you barely lose health, and then if you die, you barely go back. Some uh, times in my run, previous Tommy. run, I didn't even, like, move anywhere. I literally just spawned back in Tommy. exactly where I died. Um, what do you encounter when you die? Tommy just crying. That's it. Don't it, just, leave it just kicks me. it back in after a while. Like, there's nothing really to it. Um, goof. Help, Tommy, help! Thank you, stop! Gosh, I just want Chucky to get abducted. Just, like, help, Tommy, help! Can just leave? Thank you, stop! Freaking just Goose needs to eat Chucky. That's it. Wait for me, Tommy! So after a bit of uh wandering around. There he is. My dreams came true. Easter miracle right here. Come on, Spike, let's go. Uh I did not animate Spike for a bit, so uh Yeah, um mm. Giddy up! I, did you see that token just flipping straight through the wall? I'm not too sure if that's emulator being emulator or whatever, but this is a I'll rather bizarre you, sequence where Tommy just he poses on the back of Spike, while Spike just goes. Go, Spike, uh, go. Again, it just controls the same as everything else to the point that I can still look up and miss everything. Um, it's not even a race, I think the goose just stays still. Uh, hitting a wall is obviously good fun, you always want to do it. Help! This is a really bizarre situation though. Like. Someone wrote this. Someone Hurry, said, ah oh, yes, the child Jackie gets abducted by a goose. And there's music, there's music, oh my gosh, like... I'm just hearing dog noises, I... Oh, I... The audio mixing, the fact that everything is right in your ears. 
So you go far enough. And he at least falls off and plays that one royalty free sound effect. And uh, then you play shuffleboard. Goosey, you're going down. You just gotta hit the goose a few times, and if you're skilled enough, you can hit Chucky. Or not the token. Okay. Anyway, spits out the teeth. Being all scary. Your teeth come out and get lost, and sometimes big geese eat them. Good part is, you could eat tomato salad forever. Okay, sure. So that's, uh, that's another level. Uh, so now I've got a bonus level. Um, these just play every three levels, we'll say. Um... My mommy made them for us to eat. Hey, give me those. So this level, same music. You don't even need to like throw the cookies anywhere. Although uh, this camera angle sort of helps. Uh, but notice how they put uh, two of these tokens around the level. Which is good for you. Now yeah, you just. You can, you can just run away and keep eating the cookies, or you can pass it and keep eating the cookies and then pass it back. This seemed tougher in my head. But you hey, you ate them all! Uh, it's for you all oh, good, Angelica! Uh, that was the whole level. That's the whole level there. So... <laughs> Uh, so that's four of the levels. Uh, I said out of 19, but I'll definitely be working through the rest, uh, in reasonable time. Uh, so now I'm back down here. Um, what would be a good follow-up level? I assume I can't do these. Nope, I still need more mm, pieces. Popcorn. You don't have to put more pieces in. Here's one that's probably the longest level. Ice Cream Mountain, and probably the, uh, thing that people remember the most about the game. Maybe. I don't know. It's the thing I, I remember golfed most. in ages. I'm taking the kids for ice cream, Deed. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So, um... I don't know. There seems to be a lot of games out there that have a mini-golf mini-game in them. Uh... It's not the first PS1 game I own that's got that. At the end of this majestic golf course stands Ice Cream Mountain. That's where I'm going to get a hole-in-one and win you kids so much ice cream, you'll be eating until you're grown-ups. So what if it's never been done before? We just gotta get the balls in the holes, and we'll get a whole mountain of ice cream. If we all do some, we'll be done in no time. So, um... You think it'd be just straight mini golf, but there's something a little bit sinister about this because you got like one guy like speaking over the intercom sometimes, just saying some rather I'll out there the things. Ice cream mountain if it takes till nap time. Uh, it's always good to look around the levels because uh, you never know if the texture walking on the wall is gonna really disorient you. Uh, seems to be mostly fine here, but you can see uh, that. Uh, you don't want all that ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about flam. Yep, that's the thing. So you've got a par. I assume if you don't get it in by the par, then come you're again do soon. It, you're do it again. Bye bye. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, and this is the part that I kind of don't like: is that uh, you get a reptile token if you get a hole in one. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? But. Whoever's made the retro achievement set, like, thinks you can do it. So, uh, there are nine holes of this, which makes this probably the longest level. And also the fact that you've got to sit through a loading screen for every single one. Every other level, it's one stage, but this one, you gotta load nine of them. Uh, 
This is harder than it looks. Also, uh, it like looks as if this is a helpful view. Like, ah, oh, yes, let me see where I'm going. Uh, I have the feeling that this will get it if I do that. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Mm, not quite, but... Just make some very bizarre noises. <laughs> All right, what's what's fun. the the clown music? What what is that clown music? Like I know that there's a lot of like. This is hard. I know that there's a lot of music out there that um. Things that uh, people will, will inspire a motif by. This but, um, is hard. Chucky's just going to continually tell me that this is hard. Oh, Chucky. Oh, Chucky. So now, hole three. Loading, loading, loading. I believe this game was only ever released on the PS1, but there does exist a PC version that was only ever released in France. And I don't know if it's French only or... Hmm. So here's another level, uh, you got this gate. <laughs> hey, this is almost fun! Angelica's just being Angelica. You can't jump in this, uh, level, by the way. Like, not I specifically all three. Now. Much, Here but... I come. Uh, so now you're gonna see how much of a golf god you I am. You want a year's supply of nothing! Because I'm amazing. I hate myself. <laughs> oh, they're just mean. They're just so mean. Why do they do this to me? I've got a hole in one of these, I swear. That was, that was right there. Oh. So... Anyway, I say I'm on a, a the the Easter chocolate high because yeah, had way too much sugar over the past two days, and yeah, what best to do than to to play a trippy game? Where's that ice cream? Do I own this game? I don't even know. Uh, this yeah, this field is just it's like soap and toothbrushes. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, do I have Where's this? Where's that ice cream, anyways? Not at all. The paths are pretty generous in this uh, game, though. It's it's not too bad. Um, can't remember what the punishment for not getting the par is, but some levels are. I really like, gotta change that free ice cream policy. Boot you back out a bit too far, which is kind of annoying, but uh, gosh, this game has like barely analog. Where it's like, it does support the analog stick, but it's like, you can either move slow, or you're basically running. Like, there's not really an in-between. Where's your and, uh, ice cream this doesn't, anyways? Like, I'm using the stick right now. It's like, yeah, it, it just goes. It just goes. So. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep working the way through, through these. Uh... This is, I think, is this the only level where you play as both Lil and Phil? Who are basically the same... Did I don't somebody know, I say ice cream? I haven't watched the show, I can't tell. Here I go! Whoosh! Uh, I really gotta change that free ice cream policy. Yeah, okay. That, that seems like a good angle. Oh, is it because the head of the, the club is pink? That's how you know you're playing as well. Um... Did somebody say ice cream? Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna hope that's lined up. Ooh, thanks game. Thank you game. Thank you so much. Love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So... Fortunately, the Easter break has been very quiet when it comes to news, so uh, I don't really have too much apart from, I guess, Sony shutting down the PlayStation Network, um, which uh, 
I mean, it's expected that it's going to happen. I'm getting to I guess the thing that is controversial is time. how they've treated it. So, firstly, they uh, didn't really give it as much an announcement. I think they said it's a few weeks until it's shutting down. And on top of that, there's been some developers who have said, yeah, we've like got like uh, Vita dev kits. Come and, again soon. Uh, bye bye. Or I'm gonna hope this works, but I got this. I got this. Dang it. Uh, we got Vita dev kits. We've been making a game to make a Vita release at some point, and we never got told anything. Who That's definitely this a game tough one. Um, well, like something that just does not look good on the Sony side. So, uh, is Sony particularly. Oh no. Oh no. I'm further back as well. And I'm already sitting on it, which you is. You don't want all that ice cream this. anyway! Boy, talk about flam! This is how I really fail this game right here. Now, where's that ice cream? Okay, what do you do when you're like further back? Maybe you just gotta do like a half hit and then just like hope that you get it out of the, the slope. Straight towards the hole. This game's easy, this game's easy, and then this. I'm a god. I'm great. <laughs> Y'all deny, but... This is just doom music. This, this, I don't even know. Uh... I appreciate this random mini golf course has a Reptar style level, because why not? Everything has Reptar. This is harder than it looks. It looks impossible. I can uh, do, do this. Do I have this? Let's see. What think? Whoa! Hey! Now we're gonna go as a hole in one. Uh, now this level, this is the one bizarre one. So you got these, like, pyramids. Uh, awkwardly, the hole is circled around the center, so it winds a bit. It's not the best. But, what's kind of weird is that they've used the like really this gotta change characters that free ice cream policy. We got a token here, which, uh, yep, thank you, game. But this is the really bizarre part, is that if you keep <laughs> going around, hey, this is there's an entrance fun. way, which goes down into the pyramid and now it's a little bit of a maze ice cream mountain here I go. and there's just a bajillion of these tokens I can do this there's just tokens everywhere uh, I'm gonna grab this one because I don't know. want some ice cream psych also you're hearing this noise uh <laughs> There's no health in this level, so uh, anyway. unfortunately this isn't Boy, uh, talk about too much concern, but uh, yeah, that's a bit terrifying. So that's uh, a reference to uh, Instead of ice cream, Mr. Friend about a nice plastic spider? thing, nah, which I, didn't I think, think was so. its own episode, and it gets a level in this game, so that's <laughs> something. But uh, what's a mummified Mr. Friend doing here? I don't know. I don't know. This is probably the only, like, straight easter egg I can think of in this game. <laughs> it's just here. This is almost fun! They put in all this effort. They're like, put a little, little hidey hole behind there, so... Good on them. They cared a little bit. Uh... For, for the rest of this... Golf. Here well, characters come. talk over me, so... Uh, so is it blasphemic that I... Not the biggest fan of this game. I think it's trying a bunch of stuff, at least it's got that, but... It's just... It, it feels sloppy, and we'll get into the really sloppy bits later when uh, there's a little bit of platforming involved. Uh, for the moment, it's been, you know, a bit of a casual romp. Uh, ooh, ooh. Here we go, here we go. Blender noses, trigonometry. Bye -bye. 
Well, I didn't even have the power, so... Oh. Well, now we're at hole nine, the last hole, the final hole, the Dunn hole, the Dunsky's hole. Uh, this is definitely the longest level by a fair bit. Uh, so what you got here, you got Mountain back there. Can you do it in one go? Who made up this game anyways? I can do it in one go. You just gotta aim there. Easy. E oh gosh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Dang it! Dang it! I don't think there's a different ending to this level, to be honest, if you do get a hole in one here, but anyway, someone can confirm that. We did it! Yeah! Reach out, kids. Now I'm gonna get you all the ice cream you can eat. Because it's free. Was the whole, like, point of this level just to have Stu go golfing? Like, was that the whole reason why he even came here? Who knows? Look at this amazing antique mirror I got at Colden Oldies. It's a genuine Louis XIV looking glass. It should look very classical in the bathroom. Now, where did I leave that 17th century? Uh-oh. Uh, everything's downside up. I must be in Mirrorland. I got to get up to the mirror so I can go through it and get back to Norman. Good job, Spike. If I can get enough balloons, I'll float up to the mirror. Uh, or is it down? Uh, I don't know, but I better start looking. So I just go from hide and go seek, Easter eggs, eating cookies, and golf, and now suddenly I'm on the ceiling. I got to get up to that mirror. I think this is the or perfect is example down? of. Uh, the bizarre nature of this, and we got this whole tone scale. Hey, it worked! Just kicking it in the back. Uh, these balloons sometimes just uh, don't, don't like being I popped like if they're on here. these, like, ledges. Oops. It's just jank. Uh, so this, yeah, this bonus level, you've basically just got to go around on the ceiling. There's reptile tokens on the ceiling. Uh, pop all the balloons once you pop open the box. And, uh, then you color it there, and you rinse and repeat five more times. Uh, it's at least interesting you're on the ceiling, but... So is this an, an episode of the show? I don't know. <sighs> Who knows? Uh, but this is where I start going like, oh boy, the, the chocolate's kicking in, man. to get on the floor. Like you're just on the ceiling. I I don't really know how to even like process this, like handle this right now. I'm just kind of going like, I'm along for the ride. Nothing screams pain more than whatever font they've used for the numbers. It's not too bad, but that 9, it doesn't connect entirely. That 8, it doesn't connect. Oh... Why they do this to me? Uh, then you've got to figure out where the stairs were. Which is a lot harder because this is the stairs. How convenient that there's a slope here. Okay, well, let's head into the basement uh, upwards. I guess, yeah. So here's a question, does every level I don't know how the game is laid out internally, but I'm curious if every level has its own level geometry and therefore its own, like, rendition of the house. Or whether this is actually just the house but upside down. I'd really like to know how that works. Uh, is digging around and trying to figure out how Rugrats, the search for reptile, works a great use of time? Probably not. Um, really the only, like, big debuggy things I can think of is that there's a few like levels that you can game shark invoke but uh, most of them crash uh, or don't have really things fleshed out in them uh, 
There exists a demo disc of this game that literally just plays a one minute video over and over again on loop. It has no gameplay or anything else, and it doesn't really show anything that the game doesn't already do. Where well, that disc was probably just for like targets or something. Um, interesting, I guess like a CD with a full motion video of the game was better than the VHS tape of the game. That's what I find confusing, like, if it's a handheld, it makes sense. But if it's a console game, like, you gain nothing by just not showing, like, the footage on a VHS. Um, which makes me wonder how many, like, promotional VHS, uh, recordings of, uh, things exist, um, and just floating out there. Because, like, yeah, we preserve, you know, like, game releases and things that do run on a PS1, but... Uh, yeah, what what about if anything was released for those other kinds of formats? I know that in all these Wii preservation clips, there's that, uh, that one, um, video demonstrating how to hold a Wii remote, uh, for Mario Galaxy 2. And, uh, yeah, is that, is that in, the uh, Wii preservation, uh, dumps? I'm not too sure. Uh, I think it's in one of these, yeah, there it is. Here's a question. You're supposed to be collecting the balloons. Why are you, like, going around popping all of them? Gosh, I'm gonna be tired of music that just goes like... But, like... Like, that acapella tone. It just gets to me. It's like, mmm. I have been not counting how many, uh, tokens I've been picking up. At some point, by the way, it stops giving you, like puzzle pieces as well for them. It just lets you keep counting. So the moment you pop the last balloon, uh, Tommy just miraculously goes back into the mirror and comes out the back side of the mirror. And no one thinks otherwise. This is what I mean by like, obviously some of this is like, this is all exaggerating out of uh, the, the children's heads, but like, What's going on? Man, what's going on? So, there's Mirrorland. Do I- have I done enough levels to do Toy Palace? I guess hey, we are. my old Thorg doll. From Toy Palace. Hmm. Toy Palace. If you wanna go. Dee Dee, I'm taking Tommy and Chucky to the store. You know, Stu has a job. And yet, you don't really see him do too much of that job. He's just always like, oh, let's go to the store. Let's wow, go. isn't this place terrific? The Toy Palace let's go golf. is closing in five minutes. Please take your final purchases to the front of the store. Sorry, kids. Looks like we have to... Hey, the Wee Willy Warp Time Translator. This is the bestest place ever. I wish we never had to leave. Maybe we don't. Here we go again. Oh, the coal fusion reactor's not even included. Let's go, kids. This is the sign of a great parent. Now closed. Thank you for shopping, Toy Palace. Tommy? Tommy? Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this. This is the other one where, like, obviously things are, like, not as bad as they probably are. Like, this is one where Chucky is just going... I'm getting afraid I don't of like, like things. This. Uh, which causes his health to, to be lowered. That's ridiculous. There's another Mr. Friend over there. Sure. Okay, real talk. What is this? What is that? That's terrifying. The, all these wall oh, textures no, are actually terrifying. Me. This music is just like. Like, it's... it's legit, like, what is this? This is game, like, this game is for kids, this but... This will never work! The music just is so off-putting. It's very... very, I guess, Rugrats. Gosh, this... oh my gosh, oh no. I don't like this! <laughs> Who puts that there? Who, who does this? Who does this? 
Oh, oh my no, god, those are some me. terrifying clowns. Jeez. This is actually getting worse and worse. Like, I even I'm having trouble. Copper man. I swear. Well, it's not too bad. You just walk through a few rooms. It's me. Oh, Kirby, I'm so glad to see you. There was clouds and robots, but now everything's okay. Thorg hungry! Ah! Thorg want eat! Ah! Yeah! Thorg hungry! Ah! Thorg want eat! Ah! Reptar can save us, but he's asleep. We got to climb up there and push that button to wake him up. It's a very convenient uh, it's reptile, way of uh, explaining the it, but meanest, the whole the gimmick of this part around. is that uh, you can't climb over Look the last bit stuff. until you've got a box, but you can't carry the boxes up the um, up the ledges unless you've got a box to help you get up there. So this whole area involves reptile going around and picking up more boxes. And again, like. It makes it, the music just like, makes this more manic. This is really not like that bad. You don't have like, there's no time limit, there's, there's no like... There's nothing to be scared of. You know, there's nothing really coming at you. I guess it's the giant gorilla, but he's just in the one room with the giant gorilla. There's nothing to be scared of. Whatever, so, um... Also, this is one of the three hard air quotes Look at all the levels. toys! Uh, up to you whether this is hard. I guess it's harder Reptile than some will of the save ones, us. But... Careful, Tobby! And Chucky just sits there and speaks directly in your ear. Uh... Look at all the toys! Is that, like, actual Lego? Is that? Oh, 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 Le Lesgo. Sorry. Sorry, it's Lesgo. It's okay. It's okay. It's just Lesgo. Reptile um, will save us! Dude, I'm, I'm spiraling, I tell you. Careful, Dobby! I'm playing this, I'm just going like my brain is, like, more mush. It's at a loss of words. Careful, um, Dobby! I've been streaming for 57 minutes. Look at all the toys! Who's got this? What's the one store? Not Macy's. This, oh! that was like, this one store in New York. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore, that store. They actually did shut down, didn't they? What a shame. Oh! Um... Care Bear's room. See, this is the room where the is in it. But he doesn't, like, he doesn't go anywhere. He's just... Reptile will save us! He's in the box. Look at all the toys! And then have have fun figuring out where on earth they're going. Reptile will save us! You gotta be reminded that Reptile will save you. There's nothing to be scared of. The uh, point is, is that once you've got a box there, you're set, you can go over and activate the button. Halt, I am Reptar. Halt, I am Reptar. Halt, I am Reptar. Get him, Reptar! Mm. It's terrible! I get what? Just Run! teleport or what? Tommy, Chucky, where were you? I'm so glad to see you again. I had to bribe a security guard to let me in here. Lucky I had those donuts. Yeah, um... Mm. Uh... For no, I am three puzzle pieces away from, uh... Being able to finish the game. Um... And I've been taking my time. I've definitely been taking my time so far. Uh... Still got a, a fair number of levels left. But... I've lost count. We'll see how we go. I'm pretty sure that's been like nine levels, so probably like halfway. This is my mommy and daddy's room. Ah, uh, so here we have Circus Angelicus. You babies are gonna be in my circus! Yay, a circus! Little 
no, Angelica. I don't like circuses. All right, everybody, there's not gonna be any circus because Chucky doesn't want us to have one. But circuses is fun, Chucky. Don't you want us to have any fun, Chucky? Angelica, I, I changed my mind. I want to be in the circus. Uh, so this is a rather bizarre level. Um, just, I don't know, it just plays differently. And now, in the center ring, Tommy Pickles will make his furious lion jump through a bunch of burning hula hoops! Ah. Uh, there's barely any hoops. Uh, the jumping is also very weird, but basically you just go collect a bunch of bones. Uh, where are we, by the way? Because the backyard is now entirely surrounded by fence. And also, we have these, like, bars that we can jump over. Like, sure. Uh, yeah, you just collect bones for a bit, and the... This one part of the level is done. So, this is a bit of a weird one, um, I'm, I'm trying to use the analog stick, you can kind of see it kicking in, so not really. Or if you just use the d-pad, it's like, what's the point? Like, even if I'm using the analog stick, it's just like two speeds, like, go and two go. And for reference as well, square is a walk button, which you never have to use. Like, I'm, what am I building momentum to? I can stop here, and I'm all fine. <laughs> as long as you just jump at the end. Thank you! Thank you! And now, Ring Monster Angelica's baby circus is proud to present Chucky, is the child human labor? candy ball! Allowed to do that? Or do Romeo and, and Juliet now, more supply to Chucky, places the as well? Chucky, the human candy ball! Get out here, Chucky! I forgot what to do. Just sit there and wait for your cue. With my assistance, Chucky the Human Candy Ball will be launched from this platform to a safe landing in the amazing pile of leaves. Yeah. Uh, so the timing on this one's a bit I'm weird. Work. Well, one the video, but uh, yeah, the timing. The description looks kind of weird. Basically, you just want to, like... Uh, don't be such a baby! Pick around halfway, and then run in the middle, and I may have been a bit too much to the right. No, a bit too much to the right. Chucky, you're making this the worst show on Earth! So, if you miss, you get three guys. I've got a bad feeling about this. Done this again. There's a bit of an awkward delay on this, and I don't know if it's a CRT effect. Yeah, yeah, that looks much more on point. Nope. Chucky! We can't have a circus without a human candy ball. That's it! We're starting all over again. Okay. Tommy? Okay, so I failed the level and you know what that means? Two more loading screens. I have to suffer going through all these loading screens again. At least you can skip all the cinematics. Um, so, use that again. Skip. Loading. Kind of weird, like, the one time I actually did, like, struggle in, in playing this was just timing that one, like, button. It's the only time you actually have to do that as well. Like, timing a bar like that. I guess the golf is... Slightly similar, but not quite. Ah, uh, but uh, this is a fever dream of a game, I swear. Got it, got it, got it. 
Got it. Instructions. Got it. Well, I'm gonna do some napping today. Why can you jump? <laughs> this is neat. They opened the fence in the backyard. I don't know. There's no house on the right wall. They did not do the front of the house or the roof. Did I just go over it? Thank you. Okay. And so, let's try this again. Mistakes, except me. Look out! There you go. He really did it! What a showtopper! My circus is a complete success! I get to be a human candy ball next! Now I fell up, I do! I do, Lillian! I do shout me to be Lillian! I did you this is a death trap. How do you I put kids stop on this? Working with babies. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. The game just happens. The game just happens. I cannot... Oh, well. But, we have more bonus level. You sure you'll be alright with the kids? Of course. You and Betty go enjoy yourselves. Well, all right. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Yes! Yes! Now you kids play nice and stay out of trouble while we enjoy the Ultra Bowl. Fixed up something special for you, Sprout. The Ultra Bowl? Hmm. Bottles are for babies. Wow! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk? But that's for grown-ups like me! No, it's not! Give me that! That is for grown-ups like me. Some fine ball playing from this young team. Uh, also, um... Uh, I was someone fell. commentates over this. Uh... So, um, the chocolate milk may or may not just be... Hey! Over here! Almost oh, yeah. jam on geometry. Big Baba Magurski breaks through. <laughs> I did. I did jam on geometry. She's not even trying. Good job. This place is the same as the other level. It's just gotta drink a little more. Angelica Pickles, what is this mess? Watching her. Uh oh. Let's clean you up. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can't believe the kids. Uh... Slowly, slowly but surely, I lose my mind playing this game. I don't even know. It's not even. It's not even that bad. It's just like. You just wrestle with the camera a bit. That's that's the most of the worst of it. Mmm, popcorn. Uh, let's head into the basement because I gotta do this level at some point. So, mm, jump down the stairs. All right, real talk. I swear, you gain horizontal momentum as you jump, which is why the jumping like looks so bizarre. I think someone did something like the wrong way. You just gain momentum. Uh. It's crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I remember being a little terrified by this level, but honestly, like. Seems a bit campy nowadays for me, so. Oh boy, a brand new friend to me. You can call me Mr. Friend. You'll never ever be bored again. Now here's a question. Is Mr. Friend supposed to be invented, like, right now? Because if so, then, like, why was he in two other levels? They're full of dirt and yucky germs. Uh. A word of caution, if you please. Don't kiss the cat when it has fleas. Obey your You're gonna see how much momentum you get if you jump off like this bit. Don't 
come to strangers. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's <laughs> the doom collision detection is like if you if you vertically sorry, if, yeah. Doesn't matter how vertically a puffin enemy you are. Um he just wants hugs. He's actually friendly. So, uh, what do you do about him? You pick up a coin, coin, you hit triangle, and you eat it at him. Do you want to do it again? Just keep doing it. Take two hits. Easy. Uh, interestingly, this says, uh, Tommy has more surprises, it just, you can kick him. So you can, you can just you push him over, right? Just, then and there, you There's don't need anything. Where that come from. And you can just jump on him. Uh, maybe. Kill him straight up. Uh, I don't know where the one's going here is. Yeah, I didn't even like attempt to heal during that, and that was Scary all you need. Um, not one. Yay! I beated him. Oh, what happened? My creations, my beautiful creations. Now, Skin, maybe the world just wasn't ready for Mr. Friend. Let's go upstairs and think of a new toy. Man, that's terrifying, bro. I've gotten the top left piece like twice now. Excuse me, game. I swear, was the last piece I got in the top left? I think it was. Oh, uh, you know what this means. I gotta climb stairs. Oh boy. Where's my reptile puzzle? Um, what other levels? Oh, there's the uh, this one. Yeah, I just walked past it going downstairs before. So you can get hassle back. We're out of fudgy dingling bars. Ah, that's the fifth box this week. Oh, go ahead, deny me my fudgy dingling bars. The one real pleasure left me in my twilight years. If you want them so bad, that is why a very don't you tragic a thing. Fine. Come on, Scout. Why do you take the kid? Do you do you really need to take the kid? Okay. Sure thing. Whatever. The, the rest of his body doesn't move. It's just his head in that case. Reptar cereal, huh? What do they think of next? Now let's go get some fudgy dingling bars. How do you miss this, by the way? I guess to find that Reptar cereal. Okay, real talk. What's with, like, uh, cartoons or kids' shows or whatever from Sorry, around the... Clean up by the ice machine. Bring them up. Like, this time period. And just, like, having these, like, cartoony aesthetics be really oddly translated. That's the top left piece again. Uh, also the game's just like, oh, you can- you can actually finish the game now. It's fine, like, you can do it. Um... Clean up on aisle 12, Larry R. Sting. I don't know what that left one, second one is, but sure. Uh, so the gimmick with this is that Tommy falls over and hurts himself, or cries, or something, I don't know. Mmm, those look yummy. Uh, gonna jump on all the fruit. There they go. I feel like a bunny rabbit, except with a diaper. Is that another Easter related thing to mention, or is that the perfect Easter game to play as the one Clean that up consistently on mentions Larry rabbits? Steve. Oh, I cannot, I cannot for the life of me get this jump, apparently. 
For reference, yeah. Correcting your jump, not a thing. It's just hope for the best. But, uh, yeah, that's the first part of the level. Uh, to which you then just meet pies at these guys. Now, remember when I said there's a crosshair? There's a crosshair here. Hey! Ouch! I can't remember what the fail state on this is, but, uh, you just have to hit him five times, which can happen really quickly. Watch it! Ouch! Larry, clean up on aisles. Your turn, dude. No way! Hey, man, I cleaned up the sodas. Well, I just mopped up the I baby powder. I cleaned up the sodas, dude. Forget you. Forget you too, man. Hey, it works! Why is it always that kind of guy? So, um... The lobsters will make Tommy cry. Uh, so, yeah, I, lobsters just gone everywhere. Uh, you think, like, they would have just gone, hey, there was a baby, like, here? But... Sure, whatever. So, uh, point is, you gotta follow the signs to the reptile. You gotta watch Blasters! out. Looks like an avalanche. Here's something I noticed. Ah, pinchy things! Oh, I, I can't keep trigger. I remember the, um, getting the... both music tracks to play, which was just kind of confusing, but... Did I do that? Uh... I'm gonna make you it! You can run on the soap, uh, except if I not don't really. fall down. <laughs> this is actually the worst thing in the world. I'm going for that token. That one. Right there. Is this... Wow, there's so much toilet paper here. This is even slower. Like, what's the point at, the, at that point? I'd rather just take the hits, bro. Oh, just, just, just let me escape this soap. Let me escape this soapy nightmare. Yeah, just, like, just jump anyway. Let me escape the soap. I want to leave the soap. Just. No more soap for me. I'm I'm soaked out. Eggies. Uh, eggs just and throw themselves at you. Little doors just come out and try and kill you. Uh, you also don't take damage as long as you don't hit your butt. Uh, but we have one last fight. I got to find that reptile cereal. Uh. To climb up there and push that button. So how do you do this? You uh, mean old blobsters aren't gonna stop pick me? Pick up a can. Eat at this blue thing. Walk over here. Climb up a few things by not hitting jump, and then you just press the circle. <laughs> That's your boss fight. Oh, dead. Yay! Ah, mm, mm. Six dollars and fifteen cents. Huh. How'd you get down there, Scott? Yeah, well, never mind that. Let's go. He doesn't even get the cereal in the end. I know, right? So, this is the last of the bonus levels. There's only four of them, but... And it takes place in the same park. Almost. Those babies wish they could slide as good as me. I mean, it's got the slide, and it's got the little thingies, but... I meant to do that. Hey, it's got, like, this extra bit on the side. Right I don't know what's with it. I there's a bazillion sure. nickels around here, just waiting to be found. And I know just who my nickel finder is gonna be. <laughs> hey, baby! There's nickels in this here park, and you're gonna find them so you can give them all to me. Now start looking! I think this is just an excuse to give Phil and Lil another level. Uh, point is, you gotta collect all the five cent coins. All 62 of them. Uh, this is exactly like the egg hunt level. 
But the five cents. Uh, there also exists a gold five cent coin because stuff changing the texture. Uh, that's just the same as a golden egg. What does it do? I don't know. More tokens, maybe? Oh. Because I think this is like the only level that you can like hit a wall as, as Phil or Lil. I can't tell which one this is. It's a very bizarre sound, I'll tell you that. Gonna go through the Royal Gardens. shapes. Again, lots of time uh, to do this, but then you get to that point where you've done a very weird pattern and now you're missing a coin. Hopefully it's right behind. There it was. Also, 62 five cent coins uh, would legitimately be like three dollars, which that's pretty all right given that you just picked up 62 pennies. They're not pennies, sorry, they're, um, nickels? I think they're nickels. The dime's the 25, isn't it? Something like that. Does anyone call them that anymore, or is it just the five cent? The one cent? Where's my reptile pennies puzzle? Weird names, US people. Mmm, popcorn! Get rid of your pennies, get rid of your one cents, you don't need them anymore. They cost more in bronze than they do in, like, the actual value they're representing. Just, just get rid of them. I think they are getting rid of them. Uh... The cookie Race. So, okay, so, some of these levels, they're, tef they're definitely taking their time, right? Uh, yeah. Note how long this level is. Well, I mean... When I do it, that is. Ha! There are my cookies now! It's empty! But someone's baking more! And if you think you're getting any, forget it! Just try and beat me to the kitchen! So, here's the thing, uh, yeah. Uh, collect the five cookies to earn bonus raptor bars. The race just starts, like, straight up. You can't be you're gonna see run, me. Baby, run. Oh, she gets in the way. Can't you go any faster than that? And it's it's a little tough to do this while also picking up the uh Why? Why have they done this to me? I think I'm just gonna restart the level. <laughs> it's just easier to hit select and restart the level. Uh then to fail it, start back from the top. Go through two loading screens, you might as well just do the one. Still gotta air quotes watch the video, but... Yeah, this is tough to get a flash cookie zone. I can't those cookies and you can't stop me! Just cause you gotta deal with this. Racing babies is boring. Can't you go any faster than that? Cookies, cookies, cookies! Cookies, cookies, cookies! Uh, so hold on a second. Again, but you kind of have to go around here. And then, yeah, this is the one cookie that would throw everything off. So you gotta no, somehow get cookies. this cookie and then manage to push your way onto this ledge before, yeah, before she gets there. Now, what's with the number of things that are cookie related in this? I don't know. It's cookies. Just share the cookies, bro. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and naturally, the game will put you in the best spot. Next to the cookie race again. So good on them for that. Uh, this is Grandpa's room. I always think it's a little weird that the grandfather just sleeps with him. Better than all time, I guess. 
visitors from outer space. Good job. I've been looking for this. Now I can see if my paper is scooped for news again. Come on, Pop. That's not news. Those tabloids make all that up. They tell the truth. Your real news doesn't dare. See, right here. A whole family taken by aliens from outer space. They fly around in the middle of the night and suck you right out of bed. Whoop, up to the mothership. Come on, champ. Time for bed. This is exactly what you tell growing children. Good night, champ. Sleep tight. Is YouTube gonna like DMCA me and say like, not DMCA, but like, are they gonna like flag my content after reading those subtitles? Reading those automatic captions being like, wait a minute. That's a, that's a tedious time. What are you guys doing here? I don't know, Tommy. I, I don't know. <laughs> One minute I'm lying in my crib, and then the next thing I know, I'm in this weird playpen. We must have got kicked by aliens from outside space. <gasps> Anything but that. I escaped with this alien remote patrol I found, but it's only for grown ups like me. Angelica, <laughs> you got to get us out of here. All right, keep diaper on, but after this, you're on your own. The Earthlings have escaped! Don't let them get away! Danger, danger, danger! I'm very certain that that is in the TV show, but it's just bizarre. I'm it's busting out of here! So, uh, yeah, you just tap triangle and you... Give them, give them tastes of the money. You got quite a lot of battery for what you want to. This place is strange and fresh. Uh, Angelica's running in. Like, oh. I wonder what those dumb babies are up to. They're in the pen. So the whole point is that you're breaking them out of the pen. Boy, alien sure I don't got even bad know. taste. I, I don't even know. But sure. I don't know if the aliens or if the robot things come back. They're not that terrifying, you know, they just get trapped on just you know. Something not right about this. They don't take too much damage or, or too much health if you do let them hug you. And just to demonstrate for the people who are that afraid of them. Ooh, that is a fair bit of health. Well, I'll work out that. So your goal is just to navigate. I gotta bust out of here. Right here. And you can ride this lift, and it goes down the floor. Just two floors, nothing too weird. I wonder if you could jam it something under there. I guess one nice thing about this game is that you could probably demo a lot of the game, like, because you can play any of the main levels. Uh, except for the bonus ones. Except for the bonus levels. Uh, but yeah, you just navigate your way into this room. Over here, Earthling. What's your name, kid? You talking to me? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Especially fish. I'm Sablito Feskerich, but my friends call me George. I'm from the planet Neptuna. That figures. Look, kid, I'll help you get out of here if you release me. Otherwise, I'm on the menu for tomorrow night's alien dinner. All right, but no fishy stuff. There she is. Get her. Wow, what happened? I turned off the gravity. Just swim. You're on your own, kid. Here's a question if you actually turn off gravity. Could you legitimately just swim? I feel like the amount of, like, <laughs> hey, force of pushing against, um, air is probably not too much, given that you're still pushing air at this point. Uh, when you're on this upper floor, the controls are wrong. For example, I'm holding down, right, up, left. They're like 90 degrees off and in the wrong direction. A, they've got a mind of their own. I do not know who playtested this, but the controls are just wrong. Hey, 
Look at me go! It's also remarkably short, this section. Like, literally, I'm here. Four babies in the trunk of a car. You, exactly what you do. Can't climb out. That was the level, by the way. Like, definitely we're in the bizarre camp. But it just kind of happens. And then it's over in like one fell swoop. Ah. Uh... This is Grandpa's room. There we go. Hey, this, how many times have they hidden the freaking reptile thing behind it? Yeah, note how I'm at 16 of these reptile tokens. They've just given up giving me um, more uh, pieces. Let mommy turn on your nightlight, sweetie. That'll keep those shadow monsters away, champ. Still, you're going to frighten him. This new invention is going to put Pickles Toys on the map. So it is this level that still partially terrifies me, uh, even though I know that the um, you know the risk is very very low in this level. Like, uh, I wonder where all the light went. Oh, I know, uh, it's probably in the refrigerator. It's always hiding in there. I gotta go let it out. Uh, the objective is made quite clear, uh, but you can press triangle to shine light on the shadow monsters now. I'm going to find the kitchen if it's the first thing I do. Combined with the look of these monsters. Now that's terrifying. Somebody must they have don't deal the too kitchen. much damage. Like, really low. Here's the thing, like, imagine I'm a kid, like, sitting here, and then he just, like, pops straight, like, from the back of the camera. And you can just Take press triangle that. and they, they suck away. Not too bad. Um, and really all you gotta do is just... Keep those shadow monsters away. By the way, away. they still exist even if you're in the cutscene. <laughs> like, he's still there, huh? That stuff terrified me, just constantly seeing him like that. They don't animate, they're just rather big and they're sitting right there. That's the stuff that would terrify me. Wait, I got some idea. Spike can help me let the light out. Now all I got to do is find Spike. Where oh where did my little doggy go? Anyway, let's, let's just get that. But yeah, you're just gonna see like these freaking like shadow monsters just like just get you wherever. And this energy bar starts going down if you're tapping it a bit too much like that. Uh, now Spike is, I think, randomly positioned in the level, but I'm Spike! gonna take the huge yeah, guess that he's upstairs. And these shadow monsters keep respawning, by the way, so uh. You don't really take too much damage though, like, and, and if you die, like, and eh, you just appear somewhere. It's the sound they make, like, woogie woogie woogie. So, this will be the cathartic thing for me, because then I never have to play this game and level again. And that's it, by the way, that's the level, so. <laughs> Too young for midnight snacks. I fixed the fuse, Dee. You out. light up my life, honey. No. Okay. Uh, so I have the feeling that there's one single level I haven't done yet. Uh, I'm kind of weird that I've passed this level. It's my room! Yeah, it's just here, so. Look, Chucky, I found a captain for our boat. I, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't play with Angelica's toys. We just need her for a little while. Come on. I 
I think one thing that may uh, irk me about this show is people not listening to Chucky. Where's Seems to be Cynthia? always in the right in this game. Where's my Cynthia? Oh, I'm not telling Angelica we've lost Cynthia, no way. Maybe she won't even notice. Ah! All right, which one of you babies took Cynthia? Oh, we both did. It's our boat. We need an accountant for our boat. So, so we borrowed Cynthia. And then the water went really fast. If I don't get Cynthia back, I'll turn you babies into applesauce. Find Cynthia! So, yeah, so this level... Uh... <laughs> This one, honestly, I don't remember that much. Like, I mean, from before I played it today. It's still got the little spooky music, but it's, uh... It's just a sewer, and you're a dog. And the dog makes really weird noises. Um... But yeah, I guess, like, you know, it's starting to get near the end of the game. It's a very weird looking sewer. Also, poop everywhere. Uh, what what makes this a bit of an odd level is that it's got these like box platforming, but it's like who who cares platforming? Like you barely take damage from the poop, and really all, the only reason why you even want to turn around is because like oh someone did like a token over here. Nice guys, thanks. And then like they just stick more health over there, so you're like oh cool. But he takes, like, just as much damage from, like, hitting the wall. Oh, jeez, you saw that. Good. Good noise. Uh, am I about to hit the next bit? Well, I'm about to hit some health, so... Some of these levels get a little bit, like, mildly maze-like. Not enough that I would, like, really consider it to be, like, too maze-like, but definitely enough where it's like, where am I going? Kind of, you know, affair. Like, this just, this sewer just keeps, like, going for a bit. Uh, also, uh, this is what dying is. And then he just stares at you. Deadpan. And then you're back at some arbitrary checkpoint. <laughs> Wherever that arbitrary checkpoint may be, depending on the level. In this case, uh, when the music changes. This tunnel just continues going in some direction. So now you just gotta find Cynthia before the time runs out in this outside bit. Uh, last time Cynthia was over there. Uh, this is 100% radioactive and that's okay. And the music just decided to not today. That's okay. Even, even I'm nodding today, I swear. I swear, this... This has oddly drained me. Um, I'm curious why I never tried playing this in the past. There was Cynthia, just, there you go. Oh, his ears are just erect. What's that? Oh, Spike, you found her! Good dog! <laughs> so erect, dude. I'm gonna comment on the fact that Cynthia fell down the freaking, like, sewers. So, uh, so I, I, I I think, I think that is every single level in the game. Um, so, there's nothing really more to, to gain other than putting the puzzle pieces at the end. Uh, how many tokens did I get? Well, I've got 21 plus some multiple of 15. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's 81 or if that's like 96, but... 
Mmm, popcorn! Very unlikely to be 111. And if it is 111, what the heck? Where's my so, reptile puzzle? Uh, the easiest thing you can do is just hit save game. Uh, I saved in lucky 13, and now I'm gonna save in lucky 14. So, uh, but yeah, you just we'll go over to the reptile, and now... Now the slow... Putting all the pieces in. Um, yeah, I... So I find this game interesting because, yeah, like, I have the mild bit of nostalgia because I played this game as a kid. But I don't have the nostalgia in the sense that I watched the show as a kid. So it's, it's in this rather bizarre camp for me where it is a bizarre game. Also, I thought this used to say Zolo as a kid. No, that's 2010. Uh, this may have hey, happened. you found all your puzzle pieces. Good job, kids. But now it's time to go night night. You've all had a very busy day today. Sleep tight. All in the same crib. So, uh, yeah, you gotta be a little This is Bob Pitchboard, reporting live from NSPC News. Reptar is ravaging the city. Never in my entire career as a reporter have I seen such destruction. Of course, I only started yesterday. Uh, die, THQ headquarters. This, this you prepared does... for giant fire-breathing dinosaur attack? We'll show you how tonight at ten. This seems like a neat bonus. It's a little cathartic, to be honest, but it's also like count how long it is and count how many like obstacles there are. You have two attacks. You have this like fighting attack. You got this fire attack, and you can jump as well. Jess is very satisfying vibration. Uh, of course, you still control like a baby. Time. Prehistoric beast or radioactive freak. Tonight at 10. Bye. Uh, I don't know why this little If you see Reptar, all citizens are advised to uh, run like crazy. Uh, you can still do that camera thing. Not at all helping. Citizens are advised to stay home, lock their doors, and keep away from giant fire breathing monsters. Ugh. Yeah, no, my only thing with this level is that, uh... Troll Storm Roth Insurance will have people standing by 24 hours to answer any claims. Enough. Unless you want money. Because it's about to end in 10 seconds. Uh... This green giant is not very jolly! If this was a speedrun, that'd be time. And, uh... This is your reward for... ...being the game. Yeah. I, I feel like I've been at a loss of words this whole time. I, I don't really know how to comment on anything that's happening. It's a very, like, it is, it's a very mediocre game with kind of jank controls, kind of jank uh, camera, but not really any, like, truly punishing sections for those controls and camera. Uh, worst you got is a little bit of a nuisance when it comes to jumping over something, but like, you've got so much time, because the game is short, you don't, you've got so much health, because the punishment for dying is so minimal. Uh, for what the game does, I like that it does indeed go through various episodes of the TV show to some extent, uh, and creates a level based on that. That's alright. Uh... I got the voice actors to actually make, or to, to contribute, but it just happens. That's a bit bizarre, because I don't know, is Rugrats actually intended for like, really young kids? That was the part that always confused me, and I always felt kind of outside the Rugrats demographic. Never mind that the main character is called Tommy, and my name is Tom, and therefore, you know, yeah, I try to escape that as much as I can. Maybe that's it. Uh...
I guess here's your other full motion video. <laughs> Artifacting is so horrendous on this. Um, maybe I should check speedrun.com to see if uh, there exists a category for this game. I'd imagine it'd be so quick. I'd imagine this would be an incredibly quick game to play. Uh, there's an all levels, which is 25 minutes, unless you're that one guy who uh, has one hour 37. Nice, good job, appreciate it. Uh, the any percent is 14 and a half minutes. Uh, there are some people's times on this that I'm just like, even I just beat that and I wasn't even like trying. Like, legit. Legit, that 1 hour 37. My stream's been going for 1 hour 44. Like, I swear I didn't hit start until later. And even then, I picked the training level as well, so... I don't even know. Uh, but it's a fever dream of a game. I don't really know how to, like, categorize it. It just kind of happens. Um, so... Who knows? I... Yeah, I think I just... We did it for the children! It's cool. So, I picked this just because I felt it was kind of appropriate given the, the sugar high of Easter. Um, and I also felt like, hey, this is something I can do in one one go. No issue. Um, what's kind of bizarre is that once you beat that level, Where's my you now suddenly puzzle? have no pieces and no tokens. Uh, like... Not even the one starting piece, you flat out, like, just don't have any pieces. Uh... Which is interesting, and, uh... Just to mildly top things, can I do the, uh... The hard levels, or is the game gonna tell me? No, you need more pieces! The, the game, like, not only resets, it resets further than it usually does, so you... If you want to, like, replay the levels and try and collect all the tokens, one, good luck if you've collected all the tokens, uh, that are in the, the bonus levels, because you can't play those again, and two, pick your save from beyond, uh, before you finish the game, because, uh, it's, it's horrendous, so, um, uh, you can quit the level, by the way, uh, which is not the game, but it is still the game, in this case. Uh, but that is basically the whole game. The only thing that you've got, uh, like, lingering over is that if you go to start game, you can go to activities where you can then go quickly raise mini golf egg hunt gold rush. The mini golf lets you indeed pick up to four players. I assume you play uh, sequentially. And yes, that is the Susie character who is not in the game in any way, shape, or form. I believe the rest of these are just the actual activities, except the cookie race is still remarkably short, isn't it? I, I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna gain out of this. I am literally just- I, it doesn't even show you the instructions, you just go for it. You can't beat me! But it doesn't have the, uh... Cookies! 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 Bonus cookies. Oh my gosh, he just jumps down the freaking flight of stairs! And he's able to crawl to walk away. This would be incredibly that? embarrassing for Angelica to like lose a race to a guy in a diaper. I know she's like 20, but still. So, yeah, it's a tough game for me to categorize, but yeah, that's basically my thoughts on it. It just kind of happens. By the way, that was that. You can you can play that one bit again and again, but yeah, you you don't get to. Except the cookie race was an actual level. The goal rush and the egg hunt were bonus levels. Uh, the mirror world you can replay. I know there's that. And then what was the other bonus level? The... Oh, the, um... The cookies one. And the chocolate milk one. Yeah. No, I don't know what those are. So... Uh, but yeah, no, that's, uh, that's this game. There's nothing really more to say, and honestly, like, I'm kind of glad I don't have to witness it any longer. So, uh, with that, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, please don't have as much of a sugar high as I may have been on. 
I'm going to be absolutely knackered for tonight, but Easter is over. Back to regular schedule uh, from this point on, so that's all fine. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the news in the upcoming week is good. Uh, hopefully I don't need too much shock from here on out, but yeah, no, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and you have played this game, uh, have you liked it, have you not, who knows, uh, but yeah, I don't know what I'll be playing next, again, figuring things out as I go, uh, but I do intend to play stuff that tries to be exciting, we'll see how this goes, I don't know how exciting this was, but, you know, weird licensed games from the 90s seems to be a, a recurring theme for the moment, will I continue it, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys later.